The fine thread pull taut, twisting, tossing night's dreams, a black dog stalking the day. This is no way to live. It is terrible if they take your house, but worse if they steal your home. And where is home? How wide the acreage? How scenic or serene? Is it more durable than bricks and mortar? Will the walls withstand an earthquake? If it should all fall down, both house and home, frighteningly, you stand free there in your one suit of clothing with its name tape sewn into the collar. Do you like the words on the label? Are they true? Are they false? It is a terrible thing to have choices, none looking particularly attractive. But when you stand there in your one and only suit of clothes, loosen those taut cords of day and nightmares, pat the black dog. He just wants what we all do, not just a kennel or even a home, just love. He's not a bad dog. He has soft brown dog eyes. He pouts. He's thirsty. Give him a bowl of water. This is love without making it complicated. Do not tell me there is no water. But you may not want the dog, although the dreams and the daymares hobble and are haggard making. How can there be room for this when you have no room of your own? Yet this large black dog will lie beside you as fierce as the creature appears, as ridiculous, even insane a choice. There is no alternative but to let him in, collar him, lead him, own him. This loving and being loved, this soft animal sighing, it's home. It's home.